guys welcome back to my channel so today i'm going to be doing a home bargains haul i'm in the middle of film can't speak i'm in the middle of filming a weekly vlog but this would have been too big to put in the haul because i would put to put in the haul to put in the vlog because i went a little bit crazy i'm not gonna lie if you're not ready to see christmas stuff this probably isn't the video for you i mean by the time i'm it's currently mid-october by the time this goes live it'll be end of october i definitely don't think that's too early for christmas i mean even now when today's the 13th I don't think that's too early for Christmas. I think if you don't get certain things in October, November, they'll just sell out. And to be honest, the way I see it is like, if you leave your Christmas shopping till December, right? That gives you three weekends to do it. And going to shopping centers on weekends in December is absolute hell. Absolutely no, will not be me. Um, and to be honest, this stuff isn't necessarily like Christmas presents. It's like Christmas decor and home bargains is the place to go for Christmas decor. I remember last year it being really good. This year it's even better. If you want to see like what they've got, then um, watch the weekly vlog. I'm not sure if it will be after this or before this, but when you see a weekly vlog that includes a home bargain strip, then you know to click on it because it is insane. So yeah, I'm just going to get started. I'm going to show you everything I got. Not all of it's Christmas. Some bits are just householdy bits and just general snacks and things like that. But yeah, I will show you everything and I really hope you enjoy it. Okay, so I'm literally not going to do it in order. I'm just going to pull things out of the bag and I've got a couple of things around me right now. Um, some bits are really boring, like literal snacks there's nothing really to say about these snacks um i'm just gonna dive into the more interesting stuff um well i say more interesting a lot of it is snacks um i picked up these like trays um just to have on our table because dan has started a new job and he brings a lot of stuff home with him like paperwork and stuff like that and it's making our table look very messy so i thought if i buy these they can all sort of be like neatly put away and yeah it doesn't look too bad so i got them i think they were like maybe four pound fifty maybe four pounds they might have even been 3.99 i can't remember the exact in fact hold on a damn minute i might have the receipt somewhere yes i have the receipt guys i think yes okay oh god i don't want to be reminded of how much i spent right so those trays okay they were 4.99 they were more than i thought but that's still not too bad for three and if it makes my life easier makes my house look tidier then it's worth every penny for me. Okay, this was £1.49 and I just thought this is so cute. So it's like a little um, Christmas sack um, with this detail on and obviously you can fill it with presents and then tie it. And I just thought this was such a good like size. I thought for either my best friend's presents or even Dan's presents and then you can tie up and that will actually look really cute underneath the tree rather than just having like loads of presents just scattered around. I thought they'd be really cute. I only picked up one for now but I might go back and get some more if the sizing does work. I'm not sure. Like, obviously, I won't know until I start buying presents. Why does this blush look, like, really bad today? I think I went a bit overboard. This is the first time I've worn makeup in, like, two, three weeks. So, yeah. Um, but, yeah, it's really cute. This is the design. It says, wishing you a very merry Christmas and a happy new year. And I thought I'd look so cute underneath the tree. Okay. A couple more boring householdy bits. I picked up a carpet fresh. I don't think I've had this scent before. It's peony and peony peony and raspberry and honestly these are so good to spray oh sorry something in this bag i think it might be that sack it's making me really itchy really strange um you basically you probably know what this is but once you've hoovered carpet you just spray it on and it makes the whole house smell so good it's definitely worth it um and then i just got some sponges i just got some like scoury ones and some normal everyday sponges pretty boring stuff um another pretty boring thing is some storage bags these are the vacuum storage bags because i'm currently transitioning my wardrobe from summer to winter i've pretty much done it but there's a couple more things i couldn't fit into the bags i already had so i picked up these because why don't i like oh, why do i smell that so hard um but yeah i just needed a couple more to finish doing my wardrobe these slippers were so cute and so soft and they're actually cheaper than primark these were four pounds and i think I'm pretty sure these in primark are now like six pounds they used to be like five pounds but honestly primark is not necessarily the cheapest place to go for slippers now and these are pretty pretty much the same ones as home as home buckets as um primark and yeah they're actually really really fluffy you can get like a sense of it by looking at it and yeah i got them in a size four i don't really know why i did that because usually i find slippers when i buy them in a five too big even though i am a five but yeah these will be fine i just wanted a new pair of slippers it's nothing better than a new pair of slippers in like autumn winter time it's just so cozy see so, yeah, i'm so excited that i got them i'm gonna rapidly go through the next few bits because they're just boring kind of things toothpaste I just always buy the cheapest one. 
these if you've not had these before you need to get them i said in my vlog but it's only like halfway through october and i've already gone through about three packs of these they're the best thing ever they're, they're festive bake wells but they're basically like cherry bake wells without the cherry on and i hate the cherry i always have to pick the cherry off um and i think rather than raspberry jam it's oh no it's plum and raspberry jam i don't know what the normal one is it's definitely not plum though so yeah really nice i have to try them same as these i don't particularly like oreos that much but dan loves oreos so i picked up the snowy and rogue ones and the golden ones because he was eating these golden ones in florida so much and we really miss florida so i thought i'd get him some of them for me i got myself some caramel freddos because when i am trying to eat healthy through the week having like a little chocolate fix is like it helps get rid of that craving and this is literally like 97 calories so it's just a way to sort of get rid of that i can't get over how much i look like a clown i don't know if this is the lighting i really do apologize i need to get back into makeup um but yeah it's a way to get like a little chocolate fix without like and like sometimes if you get like a bag of chocolate it's easy to then like overeat and like eat too many whereas this is just like a little quick fix even though i did get a bag of chocolate and a chocolate bar as well cookie crumble galaxy is so good and snowballs but it's the weekend we're gonna have a movie night so no harm done right right now on to the christmas stuff i got i could not believe the selection of christmas stuff the home decor the mugs um literally everything they had like matching pajamas for like you your partner um your child so many cute baby things so many good like snacks oh my god just anything like we went to a massive home bargain so i definitely recommend going to a bigger one even if that means driving a little bit further we actually had to drive 45 minutes to get to this one today um our local one is only about 20 minutes but it was definitely worth those extra 25 minutes because they had i think three aisles of christmas stuff and yeah it was just so good we definitely wouldn't have found this stuff in our local one um so i'm just gonna pull things out of the bag and show you so i got these like oh, i say ribbon it's not really ribbon it's like um well, you can kind of see what like material it is, but it's not like ribbon material, but it's ribbon for presents. So I got two of them. They were 79p each. Um, and yeah, I just thought they'd look really cute. And also they go with the um, sack. So I just thought they'd be really cute to write my presents in. Um, then I picked up some bubble bath. I got two bubble baths. So this one is actually by the brand Bubble Tea. Um, I don't know if it's going to focus. Please focus. My camera's just not agreeing with me today, guys. Um, but basically, I love the brand Bubble Tea. They do the best bath products, shower products, like face masks, anything. And I do not remember seeing this last year, but they basically have brought out like Christmassy bath milks. I have other bath milks. I think, I, I don't know if I've shown them in a vlog before, but um, I have like all of the usual scents. They have like, um, I have the matcha one. I have, I think it's like a tropical one, a blueberry one, things like that. And they've released their Christmas ones. And it's obviously meant to look like an actual bath bath like an actual milk carton and this one is in the scent mistletoe i don't really know what that smells like should i literally should i have a little open of it um because they also had a gingerbread one but i am not a gingerbread fan like i don't like the taste of it i don't like the smell of it i know it's a bit controversial i'm just trying to open this a little bit but i mean i don't know what mistletoe smells like oh it smells a bit minty oh that's quite nice it's quite subtly christmasy it's not like if i got a bit of my own it's not like in your face christmasy but still quite festive so i picked up that one and then i also picked up this one which i've seen on home bargains instagram stories so many times but it's i don't really i think the brand's called kusen creations i'm not really sure but it's in the scent it's called driving home for christmas and it's in the scent cotton candy and winter berries they had this in bath soap which i got they had like hand soap shower gel literally everything and I wish you could smell this because it smells insane. They also had a like snowy one, but I went for this one because it honestly smells so good. And yeah, I thought this would be so nice, cozy evening. I'm definitely going to be doing some like autumnal, Christmassy evening routines, and we can try all these products in that because I'm so excited for it. It's just so festive. Right, we will do candles next. And this first one is not very Christmassy, it's just a birthday present for my mum. It's her birthday in two days' time, and I've literally got her barely anything. I really, really struggle for birthdays that are near Christmases. So I've got my mum's, I think that's the last of my family's this year. Yeah, so my mum's in October. I mean, I know it's not like ridiculously close but you know what i mean it's still close enough that you have to think about more presents again so i just got her one of these candles i think they're meant to be joan malone dupes because this is in the scent pomegranate um and yes yeah, this is part of their luxe collection i think it was like 2.99 3.99 it wasn't particularly expensive but it does look kind of 
luxurious and yeah you can definitely see what they're trying to do with the whole Jo Malone thing um but yeah I just got her a candle I feel like a candle is quite a nice present I would love to receive a candle I think anything homey is the best right now for the Christmassy candles I got so I picked up this one in the scent warm apple and cinnamon and this is just their if you've been to Home Bargains, you know this is like their um, candle range. They had some um, Halloween ones, which were really cool. Again, I got that on the vlog. Um, I've not really seen anyone do like Halloween candles other than like your classic pumpkin. Um, again, hate the smell of that. I am not a Halloween fan, which is why I tend to kind of get overexcited about Christmas early because I just skipped Christmas. I cannot stand Halloween. I like the whole autumnal, like orangey, pumpkin-y, decor -y vibes, but actual halloween no not a bit of me never been a bit of me um so yeah christmasy this one smells so good warm apple and cinnamon again i don't like the whole gingerbread and i don't like mold wine kind of scents i don't well maybe mold wine i don't think i smell mold wine but anything gingerbready no um and to be honest i don't really love cinnamon either so i'm shocked that i like this but it just smelled really nice and then this candle again if you follow like home bargains on instagram or you've seen tiktok hauls and stuff You'll see that, and they did this last year, they do Bath & Body Works dupes of candles. And I can't remember which one I had last year. I don't think I had this one, but they do loads of different scents. And this is the only one they actually had. Obviously, I would have bought loads more. But it's in the scent Nutcracker Spice, which I don't know what that is meant to be, but it smelled good. So if you've seen, if it's going to focus, it wants to focus on me, that's the problem. If you've seen Bath & Body Works candles, you'll know that just the whole like vibe of it is a dupe it's too wick it honestly i don't know what that is but it smells so good I can't, i'm trying to think what ones they had last year but i i've seen on their instagram they do at least four but they only have one annoyingly but i'm sure i'll definitely get other ones as it gets closer to christmas i also could not resist getting some chocolate coins these are the white chocolate coins they're always the best i love ha having these on like a little christmasy dish on the side i think last year i did buy like a christmasy dish that we put the chocolates in honestly like i forgot what i got last year i'm so excited to like go under the bed and just dig out all of the christmas stuff but i mean i can't do that until like november mm, yeah i think we're gonna put up our tree probably the last weekend in november that's when we did it last year because i like to have everything decorated for december so yeah will these survive until november i highly doubt it i i highly doubt it um but I feel like it's not it's not too early to be having Christmas snacks, is it? I, I don't know. To me, I think... The, the, sorry, I keep fidgeting. I'm so uncomfortable. <laughs> I think the most exciting about, thing about Christmas as you get older is, like, the lead up and the build up to it. Maybe that's sad. I don't know. But that's my take on it. Okay. Lastly, I have three Christmas mugs to show you. And these are probably my favourite things of the haul. I definitely saved the best till last. And then I need to get off this floor because I apparently am an old granny and can't stay on the floor for more than 10 minutes. So sorry if this is a super quick haul, but got to do what you got to do. But oh my God, these mugs are insane. Look at this first one. It's like a winter boot and it's got a H on it. And I said in this in the vlog, but Dan is going to absolutely kill me when he sees this because not only does he always moan at me when i get new mugs because he's like we have a whole couple cupboard full but also he don't i don't know why but he gets like so like funny when i buy like personalized stuff he's always like oh my god how many things do you need with your let the letter h on i'm just like it's just cute you know but that is absolutely adorable like oh i'm so excited i feel like it just gets it just gets better let's be real this one is a really really massive one how good is this going to be for hot chocolates i'm obsessed with hot chocolate at the moment it says christmas movie night checklist popcorn snacks drinks christmas pjs and just how festive is that like i actually can't i can't get over that it's so nice it's such a big mug everything you want in a mug let's be real and then last but not least this one and i think they had this one last year it says santa i can explain it's got this little pom-pom on which is really cute and I don't know what it is. I think all the mugs just give this like really like hand painted vibe. Like I just love it. Like it's kind of like something that you'd think maybe like a child would make you at school in the last week of term. But <laughs> I love it. I think it's so cute and I can't wait to start drinking out of these. I feel like I am going to have to whip these out soon because I don't think I can wait till December to use these mugs. Like especially this one because it's perfect for hot chocolate. I don't know. Maybe I won't wait till December to use these. <laughs> 
hi guys so it's actually about a week later but i haven't had a chance to upload this haul yet and i went back to home barns today because i needed a couple of bits and of course i walked out with more christmas stuff so i thought you know what it'd be rude not to show you so i'm gonna show you some more christmasy bits to add to this haul um can't remember how long this haul is already so sorry if it's already really long but i just feel like you need to see this stuff da, 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 da. oh my god it's a candy cane blanket I'm so excited about this. So I think it was last year. I think it was from As The Living. Um, I bought candy cane bed sheets and loads of people had them. I'm pretty sure it was As The Living, but I never picked up the blanket to go with it. And Home Bargains have got a candy cane one. So if you look here, this is where you can see what the whole print was. I kind of wish it didn't have the hearts because I feel like then it's not gonna fit with the, it's not gonna be the exact same as the candy cane bed sheets I've got, but still very similar. And it's really, really soft. I don't know how big it is. I mean, it says the centimeters, but i don't know i'm I, i'll i'll only know by putting it on my bed and seeing how big it is um it was 5.99 which i actually think is kind of a, i think that's quite cheap for a um not duvet what am i trying to say for a blanket my mind has just gone to mush today like this is not a good day to be filming but yeah i thought that was quite a good price okay so in the first part of this haul i showed you the bath and body works dupe candle and i said they only had that sent in they've got more sense in now so i had to buy everyone they had so i bought the candy cane delight one it's not gonna focus come on honestly this smells so good like i thought like a candy cane obviously it's like minty isn't it so i thought it'd smell like all pepperminty and i don't really love that but it doesn't it just smells really sweet and then this one is called evergreen spruce or spruce <laughs> obviously it's spruce holly um oh this is so cute and i mean i don't even know what that's meant to smell like but it just smells a bit like pine it smells really good really christmasy and oh my god how much are these i think they're like 2.99 or 3.99 or something like that um a fraction of the bath and body works prices of their candles so really good and i think there's just the gingerbread one now to get which i probably won't get the gingerbread one because i think i said in the part, first part of this haul i'm not a gingerbread fan at all so those are probably the three i'm gonna stick with and it is currently i think it's yes yeah, the 27th of october because it's 1989 re-release day um that's how i know the dates these days um so yeah we've only got a few more days until november and as soon as it hits november those candles are being lit okay please no one tell dan I got another Christmas mug. I could not help it. When he saw how many Christmas mugs I bought in the first half of this haul, he was, he wasn't happy. He was not happy. Um, so you have to hide this one somewhere. Um, but how can you not buy that? Like, oh, it's so cute. Imagine a little hot chocolate in that. Doesn't that just get you in the festive feels? Like, how can you not? I think this one was 2 99 I mean, you can, I can check the prices at the end if you really want, or if you comment, I'll let you know. But um yeah i think it's about 2.99 3.99 it was a few pound basically it really wasn't expensive and again it's just got that like hand painted like ugh, just like it kind of just looks like something that you did yourself which i love i didn't even know they did this scent of this one so again i had this in the first haul which one did i get i think it was the mistletoe one and they had the gingerbread one and like i said i didn't get the gingerbread one but i saw this one in there today winter candy apple oh my god i cannot wait i mean i th i think i might start using this bub bath from today to be honest i feel like it's acceptable winter hat winter candle winter candy apple could be like halloweeny as well right but it's the bubble tea bowl bath and i am obsessed with bubble tea oh, i just think they're such a great brand i love the way their things come packaged it's so like it's just so creative so it's obviously meant to look like a milk carton because it's bath milk and yeah it's just so good on your skin it's just great and the flavors that they come out with in different seasons are just so good um i might actually do like a bubble tea order directly from their website and see what else they have but yeah it's obviously a lot cheaper in home bargains as well i mean i don't think bubble tea is expensive anyway but it is obviously more affordable in home bargains and being in places like that so yeah i literally screamed and bear in mind i was shopping on my own i was like <gasps> when i saw it um so yeah i'm glad i got that one okay i just got this out of the bag because it started leaking oh it's really started leaking i can't remember if i showed you anything of this in the first half of the haul but it is the winter angel range and it's a dupe of the luscious snow fairy so this one is fabric freshener so let me spray a bit on my um curtains now i mean it's already started to leak oh it literally smells identical like i don't know how they get away with it but it's by the brand fabulosa you probably have seen this last year i think i did a whole 
haul on this last year because I ordered directly from the Fabulosa website and I got like all the products. Um, Home Bargains don't do all the products, but they do a few of them. So this is the Fabric Fresh Night. I think they had the laundry cleaner and they had like the kitchen sprays, bathroom sprays and stuff like that. Um, what I really want to get is what I had last year, which is the um, foam freshener for carpets. That was insane. Like it makes your whole house smell like Snow Fairy. Um, but I can't see that anywhere anymore. Like even on Fabulosa's website, I can't see that product. So I don't know if it's like discontinued or if it just sells out immediately. But yeah so glad i got that it honestly just smells like christmas it just reminds me of last christmas and i feel like you never appreciate how good a christmas is until it's like gone do you know what i mean so now i'm looking back at last christmas which i thought at the time was awful but now i'm like oh it was still cute <laughs> then the last thing i'll show you because the rest is just literally cleaning products that aren't interesting like literally like polish and sponges do you know what i mean like you don't need to be seeing that um but another pack of these i told you guys i told you i go through them so quickly it's so bad like it's not good at all but me and dan are obsessed with them and we haven't had them since i got them in the home bargain tour and that must have been a couple of weeks ago now thinking back to it and then i also got the milk chocolate um winter wonderland bar this is the best they do it at easter as well as like easter bunnies and it's so good it's literally so good but yeah please don't judge me um i can't help it they're too good but yeah, just thought I'd add those little products in because some of them, like the candles and the bath milk and all those bits and bobs, I didn't want to not show you guys because it was too good. And that is the thing, when you go to different home bargains, you can then get different stuff. So yeah, I thought it was worth showing you guys still. And I really do hope you enjoyed this video. I know you've already had like an exit of this vlog. Um, exit? Outro? Why did, I, why did I think it was called an exit of this vlog? I'm really not with it today if you haven't already gathered. But yeah, I hope you have enjoyed this. I just call it a vlog as well, didn't I? I hope you've enjoyed this haul and hopefully I'll see you in my next video. Bye guys.